Hello customers and welcome to today's guided walkthrough of our 2016 Isuzu D-Max. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and spokesperson for Melbourne Hyundai here along the Leach Highway. We hope you enjoy the tour. Let's get stuck into it. We're going to start off with the front on view while I look off the car's key features. So here we go, from the top we have eight airbags, cruise control, power steering, power windows, cargo tie-down rings, Bluetooth connectivity, Fingers crossed we can cover the remaining features on the vehicle inside the short amount of time that we have. We're going to start off with presentation. The detailing team here at the yard do an absolutely brilliant job. The D-Max is of no exception. If you think it looks good now, just wait till they bring everything on here up to speed. They're going to have a look like a 2021 vehicle. It's going to be so shiny. Now listen, a lot of the features from the front here are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I don't want to insult your intelligence, but I do want to bring your attention to the shield along the front of your hood here. Any debris flicking up, going to peek straight off that and protect your nice silver paint job. Bull bar evident. Spotlights with these plastic caps along the front here. You can take them off if you want. Evident. Cr chrome finish along the front. Finance options. If you're thinking of financing the car, we offer same day finance approval, which simply means our finance team will get through that process very conveniently and efficiently for you, all right? That's gonna do us for, for the front, I'd say. Let's continue now down the left-hand side of the vehicle and we're introducing to you your 17-inch alloy rims. Alloy wheels, much lighter in weight in comparison to steel. Hold up really well in wet weather. Mud guard to the right-hand side. While we're down here, check out your side step-up plate chrome finish along your door handles, chrome finish on the back of your side mirror. Speaking of, we've got an indication light, plastic guard along the bottom here, electronically adjustable and yes they do fold in. Moving up to your windows, tints applied, wonderful. Less sunlight, less UV, more security to any valuables you happen to have inside. Let's keep it going. Very minor imperfections along the car guys, hopefully that comes out with just a little bit of polish. Just Pointing these out to you because not only do we cover all the features, we also cover all the imperfections, all right? This is just a very transparent video. Okay, your fuel cap on the left-hand side. Let's suss out our back left-hand tire. Notice the mud guard to the right-hand side. Bob's your uncle. Gee, we're flying through this one. Wrap around brake lights help bring us to the rear, okay? So let's go from the top. Shark fin antenna, nice prominent brake light, demisting strips installed in your back windscreen. You've got a leather cargo cover. Notice that it's, it's slouching in the middle. We do have the bars that will uphold them, the crossbars to, to hold that up a bit. We'll show you that in a second. Chrome finishes about the place, reverse camera, plastic guard, step up plate, four reverse parking sensors, warranty we'll talk about later. Chrome finishes, once again, a tow ball already equipped, ready to go. Okay, your cargo cover straps into its hold. It's that, it's that plastic clip. Okay, very simple. There you go. Let's drop this down and check out all the space you have in here. It speaks for itself. These are the crossbars that you can reinstall if you so desire. And aside from that, we've just got the, uh, what is it, cargo tie down hooks along the four corners of the vehicle. The tray, sorry, the tray. Strap down any of this cargo. All right, let's keep going. Right hand side, check out our back right hand wheel. The suspension, we've got leaf suspension back left and right and we've got individual, uh, sorry, independent spring suspension along the front. Okay, partial leather interior, power windows, drink holder, Bob's your uncle. As we jump inside, notice the storage on the back of the passenger and driver's seats. Notice that the seats themselves are completely covered with, uh, oh, what's the brand? Let me check it right now. Black Duck, Black Duck seat covers, okay? So I don't know if you're a painter or a concreter, Whatever, these covers are going to protect the fabric of the seats themselves. Now, beneath here is the couch cushion material, so pretty comfy seats. Grab handles along the top, adjustable headrests, and carpet floor mats along the feet. Okay, into the front we go. Power windows, car and window locks. Over here, a few little features, right? Ma mainly the um, side mirror adjustments, it's all electronic, okay? Moving up to your steering wheel, leather bound, power steering, multi-function. You've got your cruise control settings on the right hand side and to the left hand side is your volume station control. Okay, the steering wheel column itself is also adjustable, of course you can move that up and down, back and forth to suit yourself. Okay, from the top here, let's go through the central features. Storage, multimedia system pollen filter inside your air conditioning vents. This, of course, the reverse camera is going to pop up in here. It's absolutely massive. Hook your phone up into the system as well and happen to see what apps are compatible. Think maps, music streaming services. 
Uh, CD player, air conditioning controls, all the basic stuff there, guys. It's not record breaking, not world breaking. A Durry lighter, 12 volt power supply, partial leather gear stick, handbrake, two drink holders. You've got a bit of a storage thing here. I don't know if you want to use it as an ashtray or a coin tray or whatever. All right. Lift this up, you send a console, you've got enough room in there for a couple of beers. Moving on now to your glove box. Inside here, a couple of receipts, a couple of leaflets, a couple of cords. You've got this electricity thing for whatever that's gonna, whatever that's gonna do for you. Okay. You have an official Isuzu wallet. Inside the wallet is the Isuzu owner's manual. Um, the audio system owner's manual to teach you how all the features inside that multimedia system. And lastly, the service history. Let's go through it. First service, October 2016 at 3,030 kilometers. Let's count them since then. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, seven services, hey? The last one, July 2020 at 76,000 Ks. Awesome, well we hope that gives you the peace of mind that the car has been looked after. Now this currently does not fit in there, so I'm gonna zip it up, place it back down along the floor. Okay, airbag right in front of me. Drink holder to the left hand side. Grab handle, grab handle, another airbag up here in the corner. Sun visor with a mirror. Manual anti-glare rear view here. Make that adjustment if someone's got bright headlights. Roof storage for a pair of sunnies, all your light controls up here. Bob's your uncle. Alright. Don't forget about your black duck seat covers, your couch material seats, carpet floor mats running along the feet, and your door storage for a drink bottle. Alright, let's finish off the tour along the right hand side. I'll be sure to point out any imperfections and there's, there's pretty much none. So that's like your top right hand tire. The detail team even get beneath the hood and dust this off. It's looking fantastic. What's that? Isuzu TD Intercooler. Mmm, interesting. All right, 87,000 Ks are on the clock, my friends. We've got a sports auto transmission. It does take a diesel fuel type. This is a rear wheel drive and a three liter engine. And we're done. We are done. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe had a bit of a laugh. Most importantly, that you found this video informative and you got a good idea of what the DMAX could mean for you. Three things, warranty is available. Consider the warranty guys, give yourself that peace of mind and spare yourself any potential headaches. Secondly, finance, already told you, same day finance approval, we'll get through that quickly. Lastly, if you think the DMAX might be for you, book in a test drive, take it down Leach Highway and back, see how you feel afterwards, okay? Thanks for watching guys, have a great day. We'll hear from you soon.